Speedway returned to Oxford on Friday as a support class to the Flat Track UK Grand National Championship. The high-octane two-wheel sport was made legendary in Cowley, with Hans Nielsen and Lee Adams among the stars of the track until its demise in 2007. But the bikes were back at Sandy Lane for a series of demonstration races, with Premier League stars Kevin Doolan and Carl Wilkinson, the top stars, battling for the number one spot. Yeah, it's good to be back at Cowley. I mean, it's such a shame that we can't use this uh, venue regularly in league racing, but uh, hopefully this uh, generates a bit of interest. Doolan races regularly for the Ipswich Witches in the sport's second tier, while Wilkinson races for the Middlesbrough-based club, the Red Car Bears. And although there was a trophy up for grabs, the day was more about bringing the shale sport back to the city. It's not the biggest of tracks, but there's, there's plenty of room. You know, the straights are a little narrow, but, but you know, coming off the corners, there's plenty of room to run deep, cut back, um, you know, and I, I can already see now, if, if the surface was in, in good order again, there'd, there'd be some really good racing to be, to, to be had at the stadium. Yeah, we, I mean, there's nothing serious here, so we're going to enjoy our racing and just... Uh, Yes, see if we can have some fun and put on some entertainment. That didn't mean, of course, that the contest passed without incident. A mistake from Jamie Courtney sending him to the John Radcliffe Hospital with a suspected broken ankle. Nonetheless, it was good news for the many Cheetahs fans in attendance who enjoyed seeing the bikes back on the circuit, not to mention for the riders who'd be keen to see the Oxford team put back on the map. Yeah, that's it, you know, it's, it's a gem of a facility, really. And, uh, you know, it, it, it'd be a shame to leave it sat here unused. Um, admittedly, the track wants a little bit of work, but it's, had, it's, it's been left a good few years now. And I think if the right people can get in with the right owners of the stadium, um, the track can soon be rectified. And, you know, it, it's a facility that could quite easily cope with the top two tiers of, you know, the British League, either Premier or Elite League. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll get a good fan base back.